Praise God, praise God. This is Prophetess Deanna Dixon. I pray that you are having a blessed day. Come on, somebody give him praise and give him honor. It has been a minute. Again, this is Prophetess Deanna Dixon. You see my title, and I'm going to go straight in. Praise God. Give him glory. Give him honor. Judgment is in the land. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. That's what you're seeing. Judgment is in the land, and prayer is the only weapon, says the Lord. Hallelujah. You, you know, I, I've been gone for a minute. Um, Just going to be real about it. I had had the flu. I got over it. Been a couple of days now, but I'm telling you, that thing had me where I couldn't even teach my class, I couldn't do anything. And the first thing that I've learned to do through prayer is I shut my mouth and I open my ears. I say, God, you have me down for a reason. Now, I know I'm not in sin. I know I'm not doing anything that I'm not supposed to, subhuman stuff, right? I say, so what is this about? He said, just listen. Hallelujah, you don't hear what I'm saying. He said, just listen. So I begin to listen. He said, number one, I want you to go deeper. I want you to go higher. I want you to say what does said the Lord more often. I want you not to cut. I don't want you to cut any corners. Meaning that you're going to have to tell it like it is. Because my people are perishing because they're not listening. And what they don't understand is I've given the enemy. Listen to me very carefully. This is the thus said the Lord. I've given the enemy a time and a time. This is in Revelation. People, we are in the book of Revelation whether you like it or not. And then I don't care what you say. You can't pray this away. But now what you can do is pray that you don't get hit. Or your family or your friends. You ain't heard, you ain't heard it for real, huh? So let me go in. Y'all know I'm full. Whenever I stay away like that, I, I've got so many notes and so much what God want me to say. Hallelujah. Excited and at the same time, hoping I don't miss nothing. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So let me slow this thing down. God said, you wonder why there's so much death? I'm judging. Oh, I'm going to break it down. Just, just walk with me. He said, I'm judging everything and everybody. Hold on. You wonder why people are dying? There's two reasons why people are, well, actually three. Number one, judgment judgment example remember pharaoh when he when he killed the firstborn judgment you're doing stuff you ain't got no business doing second martyr there are some people that are dying for jesus christ whether you like it or not whether you don't believe it that's on you that's right a martyr and third it is their time to come home i'm gonna say those three things again first is judgment you can't do what you want to do you can keep you can keep trying it Tell me how that work out for you. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Number two, a martyr. Come on, somebody. If you live for Jesus Christ, you, if you're reading the Bible for real, you, then you must know that, guess what? Things going to happen. Come on, somebody. We're going to get hit. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And the third one is, it's their timing. So everything ain't the devil. But those three are definitely in the land, especially in this hour. God say, you can't buy it away. Everybody trying to get money. Honey, you can get all money all day long, cars, um, this, that. But I've got to walk this thing down. Out. God was saying, prayer is the only weapon. And he said, my people are not praying enough. They too busy trying to do other stuff. Oh, come on, somebody. I'm going to walk it out. Now, let me tell you, because a lot of you don't know Bible. And I'm not trying to bash you or put you down. You don't know Bible. Because you think that we're going to judgment, not understand there are many judgments. So let me walk this thing down for you. Excuse me. Let me walk this thing down for you. The first judgment, y'all remember when everybody died in Genesis of the flood? Second judgment, Sodom and Gomorrah. Then there are many judgments. We're in kind of like a mini judgment where, um, you know, Pharaoh got hit with them plagues. That's why you're seeing disease. That's why you're seeing destruction. That's why you're seeing death. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. What do we do, prophetess? This is the time that we pray and you get close to God and you stop playing church. I'm going to tell you what's going on. God says it's the lust of the eyes and lust of the flesh. Y'all not going to like me too much. I know it's the first time back and I didn't start it already. Y'all know what time it is. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. So let me go. Everybody, where my phone at? Oh, I'm using it for something else. But taking selfies. That's idol worship. I used to do it all the time too. Look, I, I'm gonna keep it a hundred. That's idol worship. Everybody wanna go viral. That's idol worship. Everybody trying to get money. That's idol worship. Everybody trying to do this, that's that. Your first thing is Matthew 6, 33. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness and then everything else will be added to you. Come on somebody, hallelujah. And you don't walk that out like that 
It will not turn out good for you, thus said the Lord. Hallelujah. Because God is looking right now in the land. Who want me for real? Who want me first? Not, not just what's in my hand. Not just what I told them I was going to give them. Not just the blessings. Not just this. Not just that. Who just want me? Just want to serve me. Just want to love on me. Because believe it or not, he were made in the image of God. God wants to be loved too. He wants to hear your voice in the morning. Thanking him. God, thank you for waking me up. Th thank you for what I have. I, I'm, I may not be rich. I may not be this. I may not be that. But, but thank you I'm not outdoors. Thank you I got some food. Thank you I got some clothes on my back. Is anybody listening to me? It's time to be thankful, said the Lord. Most, a lot of people are not thankful. Trying to get more and more and more. For what? You can't handle what you got. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I feel the power of God. You can't handle what you got. And, and truth be told, but walk this thing out. God said, when you do bless you, you mess it up. You blow it on this and you blow it on that and you're begging again. Oh, come on, somebody. I think we've all been guilty of that one. Don't play games up in here, up in here. You have to be good stewards. Even How are you going to ask God to bless you with a million and you can't be faithful over a hundred and pay your bills on time? But y'all go to the store and, and, and buy this and buy that. Oh, I'm, about, I'm, I'm hitting everybody tonight. I'm telling you, don't get mad at me. Just go pray about it. Y'all buy everything that you don't need. Attach it to your body from your hair to your butt. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Try to be somebody that you're not. Not understanding that God made you just the way he made you because he loved you. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So what am I saying? It's not just a, a, a judgment thing. It's an identity crisis in the body of Christ. You don't know who you are. And you got everybody trying to tell you who you are. And, and, and this is how they're doing it. Well, if you look this way then you're successful. If you have this credit score, you're successful. If you have this house, live here. If you have that kind of friends, come on somebody, I'll walk this thing out. And God say, missing everything but him. Loving everybody but him. Love him on Saturday. Love him on Sunday. Love him on Tuesday. Maybe Wednesday. But boy, when something happened, God said, y'all call on him and, and, and literally curse him out when he allows something to happen. Why God? I don't understand. And we'll leave God over our own decisions, our own sins, our own thing. Hallelujah. In this life, you see, we were made to worship God. Not ourselves, not people, not money, not honey, and not funny. We were made to worship the Lord thy God. But here's the clue. You can't worship him in flesh. He say, those that worship me must worship me in spirit and in truth. And if you're not in the spirit, then you cannot obtain the truth. It is foolishness to you. Some people going to listen to this and talk about, she crazy. She don't understand. And it's not because they don't love God. Because the level of maturity has not been induced. They have not gotten that word. They have not spent time with God. Because here's the clue. Social media, or oh, the devil did that with social media. Yes, it's a good medium to use to pull people to God or, or to evangelize or ministry. But it is, oh my God, they, they meet people online, getting killed. I get so many people telling me what happened, how this person got set up and, and met somebody online. Don't want to wait on God. And I don't care what nobody says, I'm going to walk this thing out tonight. I, everybody want to be loved. You can lie if you want to. Everybody want to be loved. But honey, you got you better wait on God in this hour because the enemy sees you. The enemy knows what you like and how you like it. And the enemy to set you up. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Got everybody wanting to be seen. It's called the spirit of attention. They even killing people online. Y'all don't understand what I'm saying? Those things where murders happen, don't think they didn't go live just because. That's a setup. Stop playing games. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And God say that America, we have left him. What they did is they dangled them carrots in front of our face, especially the church. Oh, I'm going there. Gave us money, honey, and funny, and we lost our minds. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. We started worshiping everything but God. Now, now we'll put God in there. Don't get it. Don't get it twisted. We'll put God in there. We will even throw in Jesus Christ. Judgment is in the house of God. That's why you're seeing everything. And right now, I'm telling you, God was talking. A lot is coming. 
a lot more. You, you think it's, I, I swear to God, I prophesied. I told y'all there was another string of this COVID thing coming. I didn't know the name. I didn't say it was Delta variant, but I told y'all if you go look at my videos, they don't be listening. Maybe half of y'all. A lot more is coming because we're at the end. And I'm an end time prophet, so I got to say it, whether you like it or not, whether you appreciate it or not, whether you believe it or not. My mandate is just to tell you the, the rest is up to you. And I suggest you go to God and you fall on your knees and you ask God, God, what must I do to be saved, God? It is time to get your life in order and your house in order, said the Lord, because he's calling people home. And he's allowing things to be done in this hour. That's what you, why y'all seeing this. Don't give the enemy no glory. Yes, he's doing a lot, but God is in charge. God say, I'm allowing it. Come on, somebody. He say, I'm Alpha. I'm Omega. I'm beginning. I'm the end. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. He say, worship me again in spirit and in truth. Quit doing everything for a dollar. You got people selling people out, killing people, trafficking. What were they not doing for a dollar? As if you don't have to answer to God in the end. I know some of you don't believe in God, but you will. Hallelujah. Because the Bible says every knee will bow and confess. Every tongue will confess. It's not a game. And you know it. But right now, you ain't worried about it because it ain't hit you yet. But sooner or later, I always preach this. Sooner or later. What do you mean, prophetess? Sooner or later. You're going to have to pay the piper. And I don't care what any of you say, because the piper is God all day long. He's the one and only true and living God. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob is his name. Hallelujah. And everything that I'm, tell, I'm telling you is for me too. Because I'm telling you, when I was, I, I mean, I don't get sick like that. I was, I was up in here. I, I was so sick. I didn't know what I, I'm serious. It kind of felt weird. Y'all know what I'm saying, what I'm saying, because I'm not, I watch what I speak. I don't speak anything about my life. And I was like, God, is, <laughs> you know what's going on? I said, no, no, just, just listen. I got some assignments for you to do. I got some instructions. Hallelujah. Because you see, and, and let's keep it real. I learned something even more so. We moving. When we say we preaching, we teaching, we reaching. Sometimes we move and just a little too much for God. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And God got to say, let me allow something so they can really listen to me. Yeah, you, you're doing what I asked you to do. You're doing what I want you to do. But there's a lot more. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Because some of us do just enough. Just enough. Just enough. And then wondering why this is not falling and that is not falling. Disobedience is any part of that disobedience well how do i get back in a realignment with god prophetess always go back to the last thing god told you to do what was the last thing that he told you to do that you didn't do it because with this we have that um i don't know i guess a distinguished hearing you know elect hearing we hear what we want to hear sometimes and god is very clear very precise what he says and what he wants come on somebody hallelujah in this hour, you can't miss God. In this hour, this is not the time to play. In this hour, repent. In this hour, forgive. In this hour, walk in love. I'm telling you what does said the Lord. It is not the time to play. It is not the time to stray. Hallelujah. This is real. So I just wanted to get up on here. I missed you guys. God bless you. God keep you. Um, and I'm going to be getting up on here. I have so many. Let me tell you something. I couldn't even move. I... I I was hurting so bad, all I could do is take my phone and take notes. I couldn't even get the, I couldn't even get on here. I, I couldn't even get a paper and a pen. I was hurting so bad. And, and I just, I would take notes in my phone. And then I would pray. Then I would take notes in my phone. Then I would pray. Then I would cry. Because I, I, I'm still looking at what's going on in this world. And I'm like, and he said, that's why I need y'all prophets to even come up higher. Because y'all can shift this stuff that's really happening. Oh, and let me tell you. Now, some of you are not going to like this, and some of you are not going to agree with this. There's a false anointing that's going in the land, and it's heavy, and, and people are being bombarded. Oh. I said it once, and I'm going to say it again. And I, I pray that somebody write this down, because God always wants witnesses. God don't ever just release something without it really coming to pass. Come on, somebody. I told y'all there's no such thing as women apostles. That's why I jumped down. I don't know if y'all know, they're popping up even more so now. Because once a true, a real word go forth, then the enemy has to try to combat it. These new apostles, and I've been watching them, they ain't real. Yeah, I know. That's divination. What is divination magic? 
witchcraft, let me call it what it really is. Y'all know what I say. Women, there's no such thing as a woman bishop. But you get y'all get mad. Y'all get mad. If it don't line up with scripture, it ain't God. And I don't care if it's me. It ain't God. Hallelujah. God will never go against his word. Not for you, not for nobody. Come on, somebody. Let's walk up in here. Let's walk up in here. And it's not to bash nobody and attack nobody, but it's time to get in order because I'm going to tell you what God said. God said he's lining it up anyway, so it don't even matter. God said, I am aligning it up because this is my church. Hallelujah. And he said, my church I've come for, a, 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 a elect church, a holy church, a righteous church, the church. So you got Pharisees and Sadducees in this hour. And they're getting exposed. They're getting exposed. They're getting exposed. Because judgment. Judgment. So, so, so some people, you know, they don't know scripture. So they think, oh, you know, we got time to play around because it's not the judgment. You don't remember all them other judgments? And we still getting judged? Hallelujah. Act accordingly, thus saith the Lord. Learn to love each other again. Learn to forgive each other. I'm, I'm reiterating that again. Because God said rage and anger got people killing people. I'm oh, Lord, that's what he wanted me. Thank you, Lord, for reminding me before I get off of here. So while I was on my phone laying down, right, I kept seeing, y'all remember about the lady got killed on the Zoom? If you don't know about it, go ahead and Google it. It's kind of, I didn't look at the video. I couldn't do all that. But her child, toddlers. And then there was another uh, incident last week where the baby found the gun and shot the baby, the, um, the daddy in the back. Y'all not going to like this, but I'm, I had to talk to God. I said, God, what's going on? Y'all not praying over y'all children, man. Come on, somebody. I'm not blaming nobody. I'm just talking to y'all because it's real. You got to pray over your house. You got to pray over them children. You got to pray over them babies. You got to pray over your husband. You got to pray over people because them demons whispering in their ear, pull the trigger. They ain't ready for me, God. Pull the trick. Y'all ain't ready. Demons real. Prayer is the only thing to cut debt. And prayer of the righteous had valid much. Because I want to know, I said, God, back in the day, we ain't never heard of this stuff. He said, because there are more demons coming in through the TV. Netflix got, got so, all you got to look, go to Netflix and you'll see all kind of stuff that's in Revelation. They just twisted, they just tw tweaked the, um, the, the title. That's all they did. So what they're doing is there's portals being opened through the television, through the radio. As a matter of fact, I got so much, I got so many videos to do. I promise you I'm gonna do them all because um, I was writing them. Through the music, I took I took a screenshot of three people here in Atlanta and they they wrote on they they was doing a concert and they wrote um music, the music of death or something. And I said they bold. And people they're not paying attention to them. So you go into them concerts and they telling you, we taking you to hell with us. They're not saying it in that way, but with, with the music and, and, and don't y'all see, I'm gonna end it with this. The enemy knows he, short, he got a short time. He knows that, he knows he's going to, to hell. Point blank in the story, he knows it. He's going to that pit. It has been judged already. He has already been judged. So, so that's done. You see, we're still being judged. He is already judged. That's the difference. So this is how he's thinking. I'm going to take as many as I can with me. And he's not playing. He'll use men to do it. He'll use women. He'll use children. He'll use witchcraft. He'll use whatever it takes. So in this hour, you have to have wisdom and discernment like never before. Because if you do not, I think you already know what I'm talking about. Y'all know how many times they tried to get me? I'm talking about literally. And I was like, mm -mm. so I'm in right with that. From a man to a woman trying to be my friend to whatever. The, always plotting and planning. Always plotting and planning. And sometimes it can get just, oh, God. But thank you, Jesus, for wisdom and discernment. Because I be bobbing and weaving. No, no, thank you. No, 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 no. I refuse, and I'm going to say this, and I love Samson because that was my first sermon, but I refuse to be a Samson with Delilah. What is a Delilah? I never could understand. After that first time when Delilah called the Philistines and he had to break loose, 
I'd have stopped messing with her right there. I'd have been like, okay, this lady trying to, she trying to set me up. Notice he did not do that. Who does that? So then I did more research. And even the Bible says that Samson didn't even know that God had left him. He was in a reprobate state. That's why people can't hear. That's why they can't see. There comes a time when God will warn you and warn you and warn you. And then it'll be loud. And then it'll get real faint. And then you won't even be able to hear. And that is a dangerous state. Because then that means you're spiritually dead. And if you get into a spiritually death state, the natural usually comes short after. And that's not funny. That's real. So, I got to get ready for my class. God bless you. God, God keep you. Please, please, I pray that you have really listened to this video and understood exactly everything I was saying. All right? Praise God. Praise God. So y'all know what time it is. Roll our soldiers, for that is truly who we are. I'm back. <laughs> All right, you guys. Much love.